In August 7, OpenAI introduced ChatGPT 5, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can access it and show you top features of this LLM. So in summary, this is one of the most advanced uh, model from OpenAI. It's better than previous versions because it can understand more complex instructions and follow them better. OpenAI states that this model can produce high quality and more creative content like uh, writing stories, poem, or even code. OpenAI states that uh, it's understanding different type of information beyond just text like images video and audio and it's supposed to perform more difficult tasks with great accuracy so it's supposed to be a big leap forward in ai making it more powerful and versatile for a wide range of applications and in today's video we're gonna test some of the functionality Okay, to get started with ChatGPT 5, simply open chatgpt.com website and by default all users will see GPT-5 model. As you may remember, in the previous interface, you have to select from many different models. Right now, there is a two available, GPT-5 and GPT-5 thinking. In the two box, in the prompt section, everything remained the same. You still can use search, thinking, canvas, agent, study and learn, and so on. The cool stuff is that you don't need to select a model anymore. Everything GPT will do for you. As I mentioned earlier, you can try ChatGPT 5 absolutely free, but keep in mind for free tier, you will be limited to 10 messages every five hours. Class has ability to send 160 messages every three hours. And the pro plan has unlimited access to GPT 5. Okay, let me show you the top features of ChatGPT 5 that I think you should know about. The first feature, of course, is data analysis. It is not super new feature, but right now it's working much better. Basically, you can upload the SCV file with the data, and then you can ask ChatGPT to analyze this data and create for you charts and show some insights. If you're working with data, then this feature is definitely worth to try. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not super new feature, but right now it's just faster and works better. The second feature is a prototyping. In US version prototyping in ChatGPT, just go to another level. So basically you can take the screenshot or some wireframe of the application that you want to build. Then you paste this uh, wireframe into ChatGPT 5. For instance, you can just copy and paste similar that you do with the text. And then you can ask ChatGPT to create for you prototype of this application. Depends on the complexity of your wireframe and prompt, the task could take up to 10 minutes or even more. But at the end, you will get working prototype and it's so cool. In less than 15 minutes, you can have your first prototype that you can show for your customer or your stakeholders. I think the really important part that you can launch this application directly inside ChatGPT. You don't have to copy and paste the code, create some environments and so on. ChatGPT Canvas cover you. So everything you can launch there. And as you can see, this is my simple application that I've done in about 15 minutes. It's not fully working yet because it's just simple prototype, but you definitely can improve it further just using plain English language. But if you know programming languages, you actually can do the change by yourself because this canvas is interactive. You can edit the code, add the things you wish, or you even can use built-in functionality to add the comments to the code, ask AI to find and fix bugs, do code review, or even convert the application to another programming language. And once you finish prototyping, you can download the code or you can just share it directly from canvas. Another example that I wanted to demonstrate for you was related to the video and audio. But unfortunately, ChatGPT, the current version, didn't understand the video. At least you cannot upload the file and ask ChatGPT to analyze it and give you some information about the things that in the video. I've tried it and unfortunately it didn't work. If you already tried it and it's worked for you, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to investigate what's actually going wrong because OpenAI stated that ChatGPT 5 understands video, text, images, and audio. Okay, another use case that might be really, really useful for you is that you can ask ChatGPT to notify you about certain things or you can schedule the task for ChatGPT to do things at a certain day of the week and at a certain time of the week, for example. For instance, I ask ChatGPT every Monday at 
9 a.m. Bangkok time give me the summary of the latest AI news in the world. So this is an example of the prompt that you can use for these kind of tasks. After that, AI will ask you about the confirmation. And once you confirm, you will start getting this notification at the scheduled time. This is really cool functionality and I encourage you to try it. And as I said earlier, it's not unique to ChatGPT 5 only, but in ChatGPT 5, it's working much better. It's working faster and it's writing the things much better and you can use it for free. Okay, everything is set. And this is an example of the result. So I'll get this kind of message every Monday. Another use case related to study mode. With this new tool in ChatGPT 5, you actually learn things much faster because new version of LLM is working very good with the text. That's why it can explain the information better. For instance, I'm going to ask ChatGPT about AI and AI agent. I will tell it to explain it in a simple words. And with the study mode, actually it will be kind of interactive because ChatGPT will ask me the questions. So basically it will explain the concept and then will have some follow-up questions to me. And I can interact with it until I don't understand the topic clearly. And because it's so good at the web task, we actually can ask ChatGPT to create for us interactive uh, web application that can help us to check the knowledge that we just learned. And then ChatGPT will create for us kind of uh, application where we can check our knowledge. And here we go. In about five minutes, I've got this interactive web application, which can help me to test my knowledge. Okay, let's check if the application is working. So I'll try to answer a couple of questions. And let's see if I'll get uh, correct answers. Okay, so here we go. The first question seems the answer is correct. Let's try another one. Okay, it's an easy one. And again, the answer is correct. Okay, seems our application is working. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want, you can download the source code and run it on your local machine, or you can upload it into the server and make it available to the public. So overall, ChatGPT 5 on Leaderboard Arena, almost for all kinds of tasks, hold the first position. As you could see, for the text task, GPT-5 is number one. For the web dev task, ChatGPT-5 is number one. For vision task, ChatGPT again number one. There are a couple of tasks where Gemini is better, but overall the scoring table, if we scroll down a little bit, you will see that actually ChatGPT-5 is holding number one position overall. Of course, there's some nuances and there is a lot of models that are available there. Keep in mind that ChatGPT still can hallucinate. It still can produce incorrect information. Another thing is if your prompt ambiguous and not descriptive, it will be quite challenging for ChatGPT 5 to give you correct information. And of course, it may not always handle emotionally sensitive topics with the desired level of empathy and understanding. And that's probably it. If you like this video, please click like, share it with your friends, and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.